absolutely true. We are going live. This is a leg day morning, no matter when you're watching it. This is a leg workout. And um, we're going to start just by kicking our butt, but we will warm up our shoulders too. And I'm Cam Parker, certified personal trainer, over three decades of experience. I've actually been working out, hey Tamara, since I was 15. Um, I latched on to isometrics and calisthenics at a young age uh, after reading about it in <clears throat> 1979 or something like that. And I've been working out ever since, joined the military. In the military, you definitely work out. Uh, you really have to take care of yourself and I really feel like everybody should take care of themselves. So today is a leg day. We're going to focus on glutes and legs, our powerful legs, knee health always a part of that. A little bit of balance. Good morning, Karen. What's up? So this is a live workout. If you are watching it as a recording, remember you can push the pause button if you have to. And remember, everybody, you can do, if you've gotten to know my workouts, I realized this morning, let's go ahead and warm up our shoulders. We got a little bit of um, upper body work with this. And yes, I have been working out since I was 15. Somebody's making a comment. Yes. And um, I was a very active kid, obviously. Loved moving around and wanted to be an Olympic athlete. Didn't pick a sport, so that might have helped if I had a little guidance there. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Let's do 10 presses up. And we might do more. I don't really count too much of these cans up to three pounds. Please don't use more than three pounds. Remember, this is a video recording, so I can't see you. I am a personal trainer. I want you to stay really safe. So you, you need to, hey Sally, you need to stop if you don't feel safe. If you have tingling in your body, buzzing, sharp knife stabbing pain, that would be bad. All right. Pumping it up, pumping it up. Okay, we're gonna put those cans together, drop them behind our head. We're warming up the rotator cuff movement. Um, I am moving all of these co-videos are available on YouTube. Not yet, but most of them. There's like 22, I think, on there. But I'm gonna be diligent, sit down, move the rest of them over so you can continue to share with friends and family. Though Facebook is a big place, not everybody's here. Okay, now we're going to do this bicep curl with a twist. And I'm right now, I'm, I'm picking my chest up, putting my chest out, you know, thinking about, you know, getting my brain connected to my body right now. You know, you might be waking up, and we got to get you warm. When you warm up, you have a much better chance of not being injured during the workout. Okay, now we're going to pour out. These are single pour outs right here. I'm so glad everybody's here. Just just pick up some cans of beans. It doesn't matter. They could be pintos. They could be black beans. They could be white beans. It doesn't matter. Let's all exercise. Let's all take care of each other. Come on. I've actually got pinto beans, organic, and fava beans, which are pretty awesome. They're like little potatoes. I love them. And they have a special um, nutrient in there that helps your body, your immunity be stronger. That's one reason I saw them canned on the shelf. I'm like, yeah, because they're probably, they're pretty big. They're like an inch across. All right, and I rinse them real well, and I cook them up with olive oil and garlic. So right now I'm pouring out all the obstacles to me eating really healthy every day. That can be a challenge. You know, it could be menu challenge right now. So I'm pouring out all the obstacles to taking loving, good care of myself. Yeah, pour it out. Yeah, pour it out. Okay, just pour out all anything that stands in your way of taking good care of yourself. And now we're going to lift from there and celebrate our awesomeness, our healthier, happier self. Yes, because I know, and if you've been hanging out with me, working out, following the video series, the COVID pandemic, stay safe at home series with minimal equipment, you are probably feeling really strong by now. It only takes eight to 12 of these two to three times a week to feel even more awesome, right? So we're pouring out all the obstacles and celebrating our healthier, happier body. Yes. One more time. Ooh, I got a good burn on that one right there. Yes. Good. 
Going to go to the pure rotator cuff movement right here and just do this nice, gentle rotator cuff movement. If you're, if you're feeling tenderness in your shoulders, hey, Joe, you better be working out with me, man. Let's go. If you are doing this as a recording later on in time, I don't know, 5, 10, 20 years from now, put a comment. I'm probably, uh, hopefully I'll still be just, you know, pumping out some uh, exercise videos, some health advice, and I want everybody to be as happy and healthy as they can be. That is my mission. You love yourself with fitness. All right, we've done enough of this. Whoo! All right, roll those shoulders around. This is a leg and glute day. You gotta be careful where you put these cans. If you watched my couple uh, workouts back, you get to see me wipe out by trying to surf on a can. It's pretty funny. Okay, all right, so we're gonna kick our butt like this. So you just kick, kick the butt, kick the butt. Yeah, and that's a ballistic stretch of the quadriceps, which we'll be targeting today. We're gonna be doing legs and calves and glutes and a little bit of back and arms because we're gonna do a assist. I oh and real quick, make sure you have water. I'm gonna I'm gonna I think I've invented a new exercise for this muscle here, but you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna call it a flap jack or a strap jack. I don't know. But you need a belt. You might want to call it a belt jack. I love jumping jacks. And then so you need a belt like a oh and a dog leash. Like I figured a dog leash would work. Anything that's a strap that won't stretch. Okay? And then you're gonna need a towel. All right, and the uh, gallons of water are optional. They're going to be for if you want it more strenuous. So a regular towel, and then we're good to go. Okay, so let's do jumping jacks or step jacks. So it's step jack, you step out. A jumping jack, you jump. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, this is a step jack, 14, 15, 16, everybody can do these, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so now we're warming up, you're gonna step back with one foot. Now, very, very important, when I step back, you have to soften that front knee. You can do this, Lynn. I believe in you, come on. Step back and swing. So step back, swing. So when I step back, this front leg, softens forward, then I stand tall, swing. All right, I'm gonna go to 10 of these. This is about five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now we're gonna step back with the other leg, making sure the front leg softens the knee forward over the foot, not backwards. One, two, Three, four, oh yeah, five, you're nine, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Very good, very good. Okay, so let's just do basic air squat. We're just going to relax, and if you don't feel real sturdy on your feet, remember everything we're doing right now, you could be touching a chair. Right? Like if, I, if I'm in my 70s, my 80s, which I do have three people in their 80s doing this workout every time, is I touch and I have somebody in their 70s doing it every time, is they know they can just touch this chair for stability when they're doing different things. So I'm going to do an air squat or I could just sit down, stand up, right? Having that chair beneath me for safety. So we're just going to do nice and loose. About 10 air squats, just come down. Now your knees aren't that warm yet, so you might only be able to squat down just a little bit, back up, you're just warming them up, okay? Or they might be really cranky and fussy knees. That's where I recommend the OPC3 because it's made a difference in so many people's lives. The purple magic stuff. I'll put a link in the, in the description of that or in the comments and um, Yep, I know, I'm not counting the air squats, but we're still warming up because as you do them, you might notice you can go a little deeper. And remember, don't lean forward, just squat down. See how my head kind of stays in the same position? Same position. Okay, good. All right, we're gonna jog in place. 
If you're not a jogger, then you can just flip those heels back and forth because that's still stimulating circulation in your lower body, getting that heart pumping. We're just jogging in place, jogging in place, jogging, jogging. Yep, that's us. Jogging in place. Boom, 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 boom. And all cardio counts. You can dance. You can jog. You can run. You can jump rope. Even invisible jump ropes count. Right? So like right now I could just, I'm not, I don't have to leave the ground. I could just bounce on my heels. If you can leave the ground, you need to know that that does strengthen your bones and your legs. And dancing is always a good thing. We could freestyle dance. Whoa, we're warming up. It's a workout day. Woo, I have to tell you, I feel a lot better on the days that I do these morning workouts than my two recovery days. But I am adding in more cardio, which I think will help me get that boost, that lift from working out. Okay, do you feel ready? All right, good. So we're gonna start. There'll be three rounds of three different things and we'll do those numerous times. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Don't think about it. Let's just work out together. So, I'm gonna put our hands here, and thank you, shout out to one of the awesome personal trainers I know, Chris Farmer. I, I was watching him work out, and worked out with him a little bit over Zoom, and I got this from him. Okay, so we do an air squat, and we're gonna twist over to our knee, okay? And we're, we're gonna pace it. You're still getting warm, so you might not pick that knee as high, but if you can, you pick it all the way up. Remember not to twist the leg towards your center line. I want the legs, if I just did the leg part when I pick it up, it would look like this. It wouldn't look across the body, and we don't wanna do that. Reason why is as we age, our butt muscles start losing control. They don't do what they're supposed to do, and they stop engaging, which leads to hip, knee, ankle issues, so we want to keep that knee out because that forces the glutes to engage. Okay, now we're ready. All right, education, very important. All right, squatting down over one, two, three. It's okay if you don't go very deep. Four, five, squeeze your abs. Six, squeeze them. Seven, right here, come on. Eight. Yeah, nine, 10, keep going, 11, 12, 13, 14, just keep going, 15, make sure you're breathing, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. All right, and your heart might, right, might have came way up with doing that because those are large muscle groups and we're using a lot of muscles in the upper body. So if you're, if you feel kind of like, whoa, that's, I can't catch my breath, then you might want to do 15 or just hang with me, do them slower. And when I say 20, that's like a timer, you're done no matter how many you've done. I will tell you this, if you're out of breath during my workouts, that's healthy and normal. However, if you would do more cardio, you might find that you have more breath. Okay. The next exercise is a balanced lunge. We've done them before. You need a sturdy, strong chair. If you don't have one, you can just use the floor and stick your leg back. So two things. Remember, I designed for beginners and seniors. So you have to listen. If, you're, if you don't consider yourself a beginner, you're getting more fit from all these exercises. I'm gonna show how to make the exercise more advanced. But if you're just getting started, please do the movement that is safe for you and makes you feel successful. Okay, so a balanced lunge is I put my foot gently back on the, the seat of a chair, making sure it's behind, like I'm putting my right foot back so it's behind my right shoulder, and I, I get that left leg out, and I'm gonna relax the back leg and I'm gonna come down on that standing leg that's in front of the chair. More, want it harder, just grab your one gallons that adds 16 pounds to the movement. If you feel like you're not really steady doing this, 
What I want you to do is see if you can just hold this position with a soft knee. Just hold it while I rep count it. Or just do tiny little movements like that. Don't try to go deep. Okay, here we go. Ten of them. One, two, three, four. Chest is up and out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, make sure that chair is sturdy. Don't use a flimsy chair for anything we do in my videos. You need a strong, stable, glued together chair. Okay, all right. So now I'm switching legs. I have my one gallon in each hand. You can do it without any weight. And you can do it by just softening the knee a little bit. All right, ready? Go. One, two, squeeze your core. Chest is up and out. Three, four, five, six. The challenge is relaxing that back leg. Seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Okay, be safe, set those weights down. Now we're going to do airplane uh, movements where you put your, you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together. My knuckles are back. And I'm backing up because I want you to see me in the frame. Remember, in the airplane hold, which is similar to like a warrior pose in yoga, you let the movement start with the heel that's going back. And the goal is to get your body horizontal or parallel to the ground. Some people can't do that. Remember, you can touch this chair, right? If you're having a really hard time, touch the chair, come back up, okay? Everybody concentrate. This is for your brain, your body, your hip, your hamstring. Okay, here we go. Hipping forward. Yeah, there you go. One. Get this nice and slow and controlled. Two, spread your toes out on the foot that's on the ground. Three, the standing leg is soft. Bend it as you lean forward or you're tipping forward. You're not leaning forward. You can soften that knee more. Four, keep those arms back. Okay, don't come down fast like I just did. There you go. Stay in control the whole time. As you tip forward and as you slowly come back to standing. Okay, that was five. All we do is put all the weight, 100% of your weight on the other leg. Remember, you can touch that chair if you need to. All right, here we go. Tipping forward, attempting to get parallel to the ground. One, very good. All right, here we go, here we go. Two, I'm always gonna Attempt to connect your brain to your body with a specific exercise. Three, that neurological connection makes you stronger right now. You don't have to wait for that. So you just have to focus. Four, keep those shoulder blades pulled back, knuckles pulled back. One more. There we go. And five. Good. All right, I'm going to get a quick sip of water. And yes, we get to do all three things again. Okay, well now the pacing is kind of quick through the sets, then we'll take a good break and then do the next set of exercises. All right, so I'm just touching my fingertips to the sides of my head, trying to keep my elbows back. I don't move my elbow towards my leg, I twist. Are you ready? Remember you can do this from a chair, but I don't think you need to. And we're going squat with a twist. One, squat with a twist, two, Three, four, don't hold your breath. Five, breathe. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, we got this. Eleven, over halfway. 
12, stand all the way up before you twist. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, excellent, 18, 19, 20, yay, round of applause, yes, you did good, all right, so I'm taking my chair, you don't need any weights, I'm going to use the gallons of water, all right, and you can just put your foot back on that chair seat gently, and I say gently because I had someone slam their foot into the ground because they missed the chair. We want to avoid injuries, okay? Contrary to popular belief, I don't, as a personal trainer, I don't want you to be in pain. Okay, I do want you burning if possible. All right, so I got my foot in the chair. If I'm a beginner, I might just soften that knee a little bit and just lightly pump my body without any weight. Or if I'm a senior, I might choose that, that's fine. And if you're more advanced, you add weight. Here we go. One, two, three. Remember, if you have a baby or a toddler, you could be holding them in your arms and do this. Just don't fall. Stay safe. Four, five, six. You can hold a bag of dog food. Seven, eight. A duffel bag's stuff with all the clothes you really should give to Goodwill. Nine, one more, come on, and ten, and then you decide to keep it because it's part of your weight training. All right, we're switching legs, right? Put my other foot on the chair, tightening my abs, chest is up, ten on the other leg. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, remember to sit back towards the chair when you come down, not forward. Seven, that's very, very important. You'll feel it better, it'll feel different. Eight, and it's better for the exercise. Nine, here we go, last one. Ten, very good. So let's say you feel totally unstable doing that. You don't feel safe. You can grab the back of your chair, just pick up a leg, right? Just let it be up and just do it like this. You don't have to put it back on the chair. There's lots of ways so that you win, so that you can stimulate the right muscles. Okay, we're doing airplanes. All right, so our knuckles are back. Chest is out. Tummy tight. I'm going to initiate the movement with the heel of whatever leg I'm choosing. Here we go. So I tip forward, keeping that leg Connected at the hip, not letting it drop. That's one. Two. This is our active recovery. Three, even though it doesn't feel that way. It is. Concentrate. Four. One more. Stay in control. You may feel that in the standing calf. Five. And you may feel it in the standing hamstring, which is the point. Okay. I'm going to switch legs. Pull those knuckles back. Standing tall, tipping forward. Keeping that leg straight that's lifting. One that's tipping from the whole body, tipping forward. Here we go. Two, I'm definitely better on one side than the other. That's pretty normal. Here we go. Three, oh yeah, we got this. Come on, focus, focus. Four, if you're having trouble, just stop, take a deep breath, and continue. Okay, here we go, last one, last one. And that is five. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Take a deep breath. This is the third round. All right. I'm going to take a quick sip of water. All right. Cough on just a little more. Okay. This is the third round. So I might pick up the pace a little bit. You do what you can do. Okay. Here we go. Squat. 
twist. One, two, three. Ooh. It is a balance movement. Four, five, six, seven. Squeeze those abs. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, we got this. Eleven. 12, squatting down, then twisting at the top. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, keep going, almost there. 18, 19, 20, 20. Excellent, that definitely gets me out of breath. That's a good thing. Heart's pumping, blood's pumping. Moving oxygen to the brain, yes. Good for the brain. Okay, here we go. Balance lunge, with or without that chair, with or without weight. Putting the foot back in the chair, tightening the abs, chest is out. Make sure you're not too compact, not, your standing leg has to be away from the chair, right? So you can sit back towards the chair. Ready? And go. One, two, three. If you're watching this as a recording, your advantage is you can hit pause and kind of really study my form and then hit play and do it. Five, six, concentrate, seven, eight, nice. Nine, one more, one more. 10, make sure you do these with control. I'm gonna change my angle and change my leg so you can see a little better. Putting the foot back. All right, remember you might just do a little bend in the knee. Uh, if you bend it more and go back towards the chair, it's more advanced, more powerful. Ready, go. One. Two, three, excellent, concentrate, four, you're probably sweating by now, all right, I like it, five, sweat is sweet, six, think powerful thoughts, seven, I can do this, eight, shoulders back, Nine, one more, and 10. Good job, good job. Okay, so we gotta finish up with the airplanes, all right? Putting the fist back, right, knuckles back, really pinching my shoulder blades together, shoulders down, chest out, belly tight. I know it's a lot to think about. That's why I'm here, just listen and focus. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay, here we go, tipping forward. One, two, excellent, slow with control, three, use the chair if you need to, just lightly touch the back of the chair, four, concentrate, and five. Okay, try not to drop that last rep like I just did. Okay, other side. All right, concentrate, take a deep breath. <sighs> okay, ready. Here we go, tipping forward. One, that was a good one. Two, with control in both directions. Keep the shoulders down. Three, whoo, I can tell that the other exercises influence this exercise. I have to focus harder. Four, pinpoint that focus, razor sharp. All right, let's do one more, one more. Excellent, okay. 
All right, so this is a break. That was three. Congratulations, you made it through the first round. All right, for this next round, you're going to need the towel I talk about. Just a regular, not an oversized towel, though I don't think it makes that big a difference. Um, you could actually use a belt for the way I'm using a towel, um, but it might not be as comfortable on your foot. Okay, so let's see what we got here. All right, the first one we've done before, so we're just going to move into the first one, but for the second exercise, you're going to need a towel. A belt might work. Okay, so we're sitting in our chair. Yes, you get to sit down. Woo! Putting your legs out straight, and I'm going to tighten my belly. This is a quad set. And I'm going to, uh, on, I'm picking my right leg and I'm, I'm tightening my right quadricep with my brain as tight as I can. I'm holding myself upright in the chair. I'm not leaning back in the chair. And I'm going to bring this foot up. I'm going to slightly tip my foot out a little. And we're going to count to 20. Do not bend the knee. Your knee stays locked the whole time. Okay, ready, go. One, two three, control it up and down, four, five, I'm squeezing my abs, six, squeezing, seven, eight, I'm also sweating, nine, ten, keep going, squeeze that quad, eleven, twelve, thirteen, come on, fourteen, might be burning, that's good, 15, you might feel it in the hip, that's fine, 16, 17, 18, 19, do it again, 20, very good, other side, tighten that other quadricep, make sure that knee is locked up, flex that foot towards your shin, tip the toe out a little bit away from your hip, so you rotate a little bit, ready, go, one, two, three, four, don't soften that knee, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, keep going, you got this, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, oh yeah, sixteen, control it on the way up and down, seventeen, 18, 19, and 20. Excellent. Bravo. So we pre-fatigue in the first round, then we pre-fatigue. What that means is I get those quads tired, so it's harder to do what I'm doing. Okay, so watch what I'm doing now. Just, just take a look at what I'm doing in the camera, in the video, and I'm, I'm, I'm seated, and I have one leg that's bent, and the other leg, I'm going to put my foot in it, Right? And I'm holding the towel, and I'm going to bend the leg towards my body, and then I'm going to straighten the leg, but I'm going to fight myself. I'm going to use my arms to make it hard to pull my leg out straight. Okay? This is called a leg row because I'm putting resistance with my rowing muscles, and I'm, I am letting my leg straighten, but I'm making myself work for it. Okay? And this is really a brain proprioception, understanding how powerful your leg needs to be and how powerful your upper body is, really. Okay, so we're gonna do eight of these on each leg. So I need you to really concentrate because human body weight, human force is um, very different than like free weights and cable machines and things. Okay, so I bend the knee in, you ready? Here we go, here's the first one. And I'm straightening my leg, but I'm, res I'm pulling back with my arms. Okay, going all the way to straight. One. Now you're probably going to feel this mostly in your upper body. That's fine. Two. All right, pushing out, pushing out. Yeah, you might feel it in your hands because you're like, man, my leg is strong, but you're fighting the leg going out. Three. I want to feel that in my biceps. Go, 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 four, pulling it up, pushing it out, resisting, resisting, five, come on, 
Come on, keep fighting your own leg. Don't give up. We're only doing eight. Six. Pull it back. Shoulders are down. Holding those shoulder blades together. Letting the arms straighten with the legs slowly. Okay, one more. Woo, I feel this. Mm. Yeah, okay, that was eight. All right, we got a break for our arms, so what we're gonna do is just lean back and just pick up your legs. If you wanna do straight leg, pick them up, hold them, right? But I'm just gonna, it's like a boat pose right here, but don't cheat, don't, don't just relax against the back of the chair. Squeezing the abs. We're gonna do about 20, 30 seconds, holding, holding, because we gotta recover in the hands and everything. All right, a few more seconds. Working the grip is something that's very important because those are your forearm muscles and down. Uh, knitting works your grip. Yep, yep. Uh, probably digging holes, a little bit of gardening, but really we got to work it out occasionally. Okay, so I have my foot and, and I grip, grip my towel. My leg is straight like in a quad set. All right, shoulders are down. I'm gonna bend the leg towards my body and now straighten my leg, but really fight with my arms. Here you go. All right, keep your chest up. It's a slow isometric movement. One, bring it in. This is a leg row because I'm stimulating my back muscles, my biceps, and I'm showing myself, wow, my leg is really strong. Two. Push it out. When you don't have equipment at home, we gotta get creative, right? Three. And your back is very strong and your leg is very strong and we're gonna make them work together. All right, push it out. That's number four. Okay, here we go, come on. Squeeze that tail. Five. This is a leg row with a towel. Six, or you could call it a leg press as well. Come on, come on, we got two more. Keep your chest out, shoulders down. Mm, seven, one more. I can really feel that in my biceps. I like that. Feel it a little bit in my glute too. Eight, good, that's it. So I feel it in my glute when I get it bent towards my body and I start resisting it, I can feel the glute fire. That's part of what I'm working on today for you. Okay, we got the third exercise. You stand up, put your hands in the seat of your chair, and I'm gonna straighten one leg back like this, and we're gonna do a glute kick. So it's a small movement, almost like a pulsing like this. Now the leg you're standing on, I want you on your tippy toe, not just flat footed. When you're on your tippy up toe, I call that a living leg because the leg is active. But if you're flat footed, then there's not as much uh, beneficial activity happening. So I'm in this position, but my standing leg, I'm on my toe. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be about a 10 inch movement. One, two, three, four, Five, keep your hips flat, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, squeeze those glutes, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. And I was thinking, if you wanted more advanced, that's up to you. You can do that from plank. But you could plank in the chair and do that same movement. Okay. But I'm going to be in table with the chair. My standing leg is on the tippy toe. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on. 11, 12, pull your belly button in slightly, 13, 14, keep your shoulders out of your ears, 15, 16, 17, 18, squeeze those glutes, 19, 20, good job. All right, Woo. let's 
Still sweating. Don't think that's gonna stop. All right, so we're sitting in our chair. This is your chance to grab a quick sip of water if you need it. Both legs are straight. I'm taking my right leg, I'm tightening my quad as much as I can. I'm flexing in my right foot towards my shin and tipping the foot out slightly. Okay, 20 reps. Don't lean back and against the back of the chair. Sit up tall. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keep going. Twelve. Don't soften that knee. Thirteen. Keep it locked. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, see if you can get to 20, come on, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20, good job. All right, switching to the other side, tightening the quad, flexing the foot towards your shin, tipping it out, rotating it slightly to the side. Ready, and go, one, two, three, you can do this, four, five, Six, every rep makes you stronger and younger. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do the work. Twelve, you can do it. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen reps of awesomeness. Seventeen, eighteen, keep that kneecap up. Nineteen, one more. Twenty. Excellent. Woo, I got a burn in that one. And that has a lot to do with the power of your brain and flexing it as hard as you can with your brain. Your brain is one of your best pieces of fitness equipment. That's right, okay. Oh, we're still in that chair, right. Okay, pick up the towel. And I did try this with a belt. And the reason I didn't stick with the belt was because of the grip, me holding the belt. I thought the towel was more comfortable in my hands, but a little harder, meaning because the towel's soft, and when I'm squeezing it, my forearms have to do a lot of work, and that's important. You want a strong grip. So there's a lot of benefits to this crazy little exercise. All right, so I'm gonna put my leg in the towel, my foot in the towel, and we're gonna do eight leg towel ro rows. R-O-W-S, not R-O-S-E, but I, I give you a rose. I'll give you a rose later, I'll put it in the comments. Okay, here we go. We're gonna bend the leg, push in the leg back out away from my body. I can feel that in my core and my glute, and I'm fighting it with my arms. Okay, that is one. This is gonna take a little bit. Row it in, fight, push it out, sitting up tall. Yes, two. All right, you really want to hold it tight when it first starts moving. Three. This is up to you. You build as much intensity as you can. Four. All right, because you could do this and not have any resistance because it's up to your arms how hard your leg has to work or up to your leg how hard your arms have to work. Five, three more chest out. Try not to squinch your face in your uh, neck. <laughs> you got to try and keep your face and your neck relaxed. It's hard, but you can do it. Come on, go on, go on. This is number seven. Okay, one more. Whoa! Oh, my grip slipped. I'm going to reset. I'm keep working. Number eight. Number eight. Mm, okay. All right, we got to recover our grip. Kicking our knees up, holding it, balancing in the chair. Oh. About 30 seconds. Rubbing those hands. We don't work our hands very hard in a modern life, unless you're a bricklayer or carpenters. And then, unfortunately, you get a lot of carpenters, they get a really strong, their dominant hand gets really strong in the forearm, but the other one doesn't. So, gotta keep it balanced. Okay, down. All right, here we go. Grabbing that towel. Get a good grip. I gotta make sure my left hand, the grip gave out there at the end. All right, got my towel, putting my foot in the towel, sitting up tall. 
okay, letting that knee towards my chest, which could help improve mobility as well. A lot of bang for a buck. Here we go. I'm pushing with the leg, resisting with the arms. Whoa. That's one. Bring it in. You can resist in both directions or just the leg straightening. Two, you choose. Go. Mm. Fighting, fighting, making that leg fight my arms. Yeah. Two against one. I got you. Oh, here we go. Pull it in. This is number three. Yep, I can feel it. I love it. Oh. Boom. Pull it in. Push it out. Resist with your arms. Keep your shoulders down. That was four. Keep going. Hashtag keep going. Five. Stimulating that upper body. Stimulating the leg and the glute and the hamstring. Six. You are strong. Come on. Come on. Number seven. One more. Try to relax your face and your neck. Keep those shoulders down. Last one. Eight. Oh. oh, hard on the hands for sure. If you're really working it hard, right? Oh. Okay, so chair. Okay, chair, hands in chair, in plank if you want it. But I am doing it in table, I'm standing leg, I'm on my toe, bringing the leg up, keeping my hips flat. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Switching to the other leg on the toe on the standing leg do not tip your hips right pretend you got a glass of water right on your lower back and you don't want to spill it belly's pulled in slightly ready go one two three four five six don't hang your head down seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, almost there, 16, 17, squeeze those glutes, 18, 19, 20. Oh, yes. Very good. Looking at my time. All righty. Mm. Okay, so what I want to do next because uh, I know I do three rounds, but we're going to do two rounds of that because I really want to work on the hips, and that was really, really good. So hips and balance, so we're going to move into a, a different set now, and the first thing we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to call it a flapjack, because <laughs> I do a happy jack. And what we're doing is you can take your towel, right? And it's not going to take as much force on the hands and you're going to hold it up over your head or with this one I'm going to use the belt because it's not as hard on my hands and what I'm doing is I'm putting pressure on the belt as if I'm going to pull the belt apart away from itself like I'm going to rip it in two right and then what we're going to do is if you remember what a happy jack is I know you do this is a happy jack right where I pick my leg up and alternate Instead of clapping our hands overhead, I'm going to lift the leg and pull towards the leg. And what that's going to do, you're going to feel it in the sides of your body. Okay? Instead of with a happy jack, it's more of a shoulder activity, the top here. But we're shifting it so it's more to do with your core, your ribs. Okay, you ready? Holding the belt overhead, standing nice and tall. I'm putting pressure on the belt as much as I can, my hands can tolerate. And now I'm gonna alternate side leg lifts. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the foot parallel to the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, going to 20, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. Whoo, I can feel that in my upper body for sure. And I can feel it right above my hip. Okay, so now we're gonna do a hands in the chair, right? And I'm gonna bend my leg like this. Let me move it so you can see it a little easier. My standing leg's on the toe and I'm gonna move. So do you see that? Where I'm gonna do like a fire hydrant, which can be done from the ground. But since I have the chair, we might as well do here. You can also be bent over and swing it out straight leg, which would be more advanced. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do 10 on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Now just switch right to the other leg. Standing leg, you're on your toe. Very important. One, keep your shoulders out of your ears. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Okay, so we're just standing tall now. I'm going to touch the back of my chair and we're going to come squeeze our glutes and come up on our calves. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze everything, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, squeeze everything, seventeen, eighteen, squeeze it, nineteen, one more, hold on, nine, on twenty, hold it, hold it, and down. Okay, we're going to do all that one more time, and we're done with the workout. I have my belt, alternating flapjacks, yeah, high protein, whole grain flapjacks, yeah, gluten-free. All right, here we go. Ready, go. One, two, pull that belt apart, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, kick that leg up. Nine, ten, hold that belly button in. Twelve, I know, I know, you can do it. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, squeezing my abs. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, the crowd goes crazy. Okay, all right, what's the next one? We're doing that fire hydrant movement. So I'm, I'm in the chair like this, right? And I'm on my standing legs on the toe, swinging 10 out to pick a side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, oh yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Good, switch to the other side right away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got it. Come on. Eight, nine. Stay on your toes. Squeeze your abs. Ten. Good. Okay, we're standing tall. This is it. End of the workout. I can touch the chair if I need it. Squeezing my glutes, squeezing my legs up on my toes. Here we go. One, two, this is a calf raise. Three, don't touch the ground. Four, except with your toes. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze those glutes. Nine, ten, eleven. We're going to hold on 20. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, oh yeah, 18, stay with it, 19, one more, hold on, 20, you're up on your toes, you're squeezing everything, squeeze, 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 squeeze your abs, woo, and down, bam, you did
did that workout. You deserve praise. Awesome. Celebrate. Celebrate your success. Thank you so much for being with me. We do have to cool down. We're going to do a little stretching. So I have my chair and I'm going to put my heel up in my chair and stretch down my leg. You did great. You made it. Did any of you during it, you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. So if that happened, make sure you put that in the comments and say, I did it. I did it. But also, if, if uh, live, you know, for my other workouts or if you're watching a recording, um, remember, I group the, the workout. So you might say, okay, I don't feel I can do a whole session, which is approximately um, So I'm going to do, say, 15 minutes or the first set of exercises. Do them. Cool down. You could go through the whole series doing the first set of exercises. Let's switch legs. You could do one, the first set of all exercises. Not all my workouts are that way, but you can adapt it is my point. The whole point is for you to do something, right? That counts. Whatever you do, any movement you do that's safe and, and has a target, has a target muscle group, you're going to get stronger. You're going to feel better, healthier, stronger, younger in your skin, okay? All right, we're stretching this hamstring leg right here. I really want to just you, no matter what else is going on in the world, our health never becomes secondary. It's always primary, right? Shy of, a, shy of an emergency, where you, but then if it's an emergency, you're either running or driving away or, you know, you still want to have your, your strong body creates a strong mind. So what I'm doing right now is I'm sitting in that chair. This is one of my favorite stretches. I'm sitting in the chair and I'm putting one leg, I'm sitting to the side, putting one leg back and I'm stretching the hip right here at the front, right? And I'm gonna lift my arms up and if you can, look up at your hands, right? And just really pretend someone's pulling you by the hands and now we're stretching our whole body, right? Okay, gently come down, good. Switch to the other side. Right now, it's, we're just letting the heart rate come down. We're stretching out some connective tissue in the hips along the sides of our body. We did work out some and stimulate some back muscles today. And I did that because we focused on chest and triceps on the last workout. So if you're in a series, these are all designed to be done in order, in succession. <sighs> Upper body, lower body, and a balance four days, how it usually rolls, and down. Okay, last two things we're doing, and then we'll breathe together. So I have my chair, and I'm just going to reach down if I can, right, and grab my foot or my toes or my heel or the cuff of my pants because I'm stretching the front of this quadricep, and I'm just going to stand tall. The goal is to, if you can, you want your heel to touch your butt and push that knee back, but it's okay if you can't. For some people, if you just put your toe in a chair and let that knee hang down, that stretches. So I really want to encourage you to stretch your quads every single day if you don't have much flexibility because that is, that tight quad is influencing your hip and your knee health and if you're more mobile, more flexible, it's going to be have a better, stronger hip and a stronger, healthier knee. All right, let's switch to the other, other quad. Okay. Stretch it out. Woo! I am so proud of you for being here. Thank you for joining me for this workout. I post it right away, so I know I have a, a regular who always does it about 9.30, 9.45. And uh, so that's a shout out to Kitty, who's, um, I found out she's 74, and she's done every co-video I've done. So I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of all of you for being here. Oh, that feels good on that quad. Okay, let's breathe together. All right, you ready? Send out love to the whole world. We're going to we're going to breathe in love and we're going to exhale love and cuz it's highly contagious. A good attitude is highly contagious. All right, here we go. <sighs> okay, do that again. Make a little noise. It's okay. Nobody can hear you. I can't hear you. Here we go. <sighs> there you go. Oh, that was a noise. Here comes my dog. She's like, "Yeah, let's go." All right, last one. Here you go, with love. <sighs> All right.
Thank you so much for breathing with me, for working out with me. I love you. Take care. I'll see you in a couple days. Have a great day.